It is human nature to be afraid of the unknown. It's our fear of the unknown that horror movies and thrillers prey upon. So it's only natural that outer space, humanity's biggest unknown, would be the source of some of the most terrifying objects and occurrences in the universe. Join us as we explore some of the most terrifying facts about outer space. 55 Cantry E Jansen 55 Cancery E, a planet that K Jewelers wishes they could get their hands on. This planet, otherwise known as Jansen, has gained a lot of attention in recent years. That's because of its unique elemental makeup. It's surmised that around one-third of the mass of the planet is made up of carbon. Due to its proximity to its star, 55 Cancri A, Jansen has cruel atmospheric conditions that include a surface temperature of, oh, only 3100 degrees Fahrenheit. This hellish atmosphere, in addition to the planet's volcanic activity, have led scientists to believe that the majority of the carbon on the planet is in the form of a diamond. The Real Death Star now, if you saw Star Wars The Force Awakens, you'll definitely remember the Death Star ripoff known as Starkiller Base. In the movie, the Starkiller Base is a planet-like headquarters that drains the energy of the solar system's sun to power its own weapon. However, would it really surprise you that the Starkiller Base is actually based on a real cosmic entity? These stars, known as vampire stars, are able to drain the plasma from smaller neighboring stars. While the stars don't fire a giant laser at the end of the process, it is still terrifying to know that, as we hurtle through space, all it would really take is a slightly larger star to drain our sun, ending all of the life on Earth. Rogue Planets now, they are exactly what they sound like, a planet that is not bound to a solar system. It's just kind of flying around space millions of miles per hour. These planets do exist throughout the solar system and are often a product of solar systems that didn't really have the gravitational pull to hold on to them, or they just simply never had a parent solar system to begin with. Rogue planets could also be the product of a newly formed solar system that's ejecting large amounts of debris. The planets tend to leave little or no atmosphere, since they lack a star to provide light, and are often extremely cold as well. Scientists believe that our Earth's moon is the result of a collision between the Earth and a rogue planet. The rogue planet has been estimated to be about the size of Mars. Due to its small size, the planet was destroyed on impact, and the remaining debris pulled together to form our moon over millions of years ago. Science also wants you to believe that soon after the collision, both the sun and the moon were molten wastelands for at least another 500 million years. Scientists estimate that there are about two rogue planets per star in the Milky Way galaxy, and it's unsettling to know that for every star you see in the night sky, there may actually be at least two planet-sized rocks flying freely around the galaxy. The Super Void In 2004, astronomers noticed one of the strangest occurrences to date in the observable universe. They saw what they believed to be an uncharacteristically cold spot in the universe that spanned over 1.8 billion light years. This would come to be the largest structure in the universe, and the giant gap was named the CMB cold spot, more commonly referred to as the supervoid. The name supervoid is slightly misleading though, in that it suggests that nothing exists in the vast 1.8 billion light year expanse, which is incredibly false. What scientists do actually say is that there are in fact quite a few cosmic objects in the expanse, but overall the area contains about 20% less mass than what exists in other parts of the universe. The scary part about it all is that scientists are still unsure of even why the cold spot exists. While the Big Bang Theory does state that cold spots are able to exist in the universe, it doesn't show any kind of evidence that cold spots of this magnitude could really exist. One of the more eerie theories is that this cold spot is a point of interaction between our universe and another. 
Black Holes Black holes are one of the most interesting and terrifying bodies in the universe. Our known laws of physics seem to break down when it comes to explaining black holes, and if you've seen the movie Interstellar, you already know what we're talking about. When a star enters its supernova stage, it will either become a neutron star, or if it's massive enough, will become a black hole. Black holes are so dense that the gravitational pull does not allow anything to escape the event horizon, not even light. And there are two types of black holes. The first is called a stellar mass black hole, which can be as small as an asteroid or as large as our sun. The second type is called a supermassive black hole, which have mass sizes of millions of times larger than that of our sun. So where can these behemoths be found? As it turns out, at the center of every galaxy in the universe. These black holes have been consuming solar systems for billions of years and will continue to do so until they end up meeting their own demise. The largest black hole that was ever observed had a mass that was 40 billion times that of our sun. So what makes these monsters so terrifying exactly? Is it the fact that we know so little about what goes on with them and what we know happens as we approach them? The gravity around the event horizon of a black hole is so great that time begins to slow down. To the observer, time will seem as though it's stopped once you've reached the event horizon. And once you begin to cross the threshold, it's unclear as to what really will happen next. It's commonly believed that your body is going to continually be compressed until it just becomes a single stream of atoms, speeding towards the center. And some scientists believe that depending on the size of the black hole, you may not experience such a death for years until you reach the center of the black hole, otherwise known as singularity. However, it is theorized that black holes can be the key to time travel or even proof of a multiverse. And it's also believed that the density of the black hole is so great that the fabric of space and time itself folds in on itself which would theoretically allow someone to jump onto another part of the space-time continuum. As it would be impossible to survive traveling through a black hole, scientists may never get the chance to reveal the truth behind what happens on the other side. The closest supermassive black hole to the Earth is approximately 27,000 light years away, at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. So you shouldn't really expect them to make any kind of attempt to study it up close anytime soon. Glias 581c Scientists are constantly looking for other planets near our solar system in which life can survive. Part of the reason for this search is to see if humans can achieve interstellar colonization. Another reason is to see if life has taken hold on other planets, therefore proving that we're not alone in this universe. One of the most terrifying planets that we've looked at is called Glias 581c. When scientists suggested that this was a habitable planet, they were truly looking for the minimum requirements to support life. The planet is tidally locked, much like our moon to Earth. And because of the tidal locking, one half gets sun all day and the other half is always in nighttime. This sadly results in hellacious temperatures on one side of the planet and freezing cold ones on the other. The hope is that between these two extremes exists a habitable zone that may contain liquid water, which is essential to human life. So let's just go on hoping that this is a last resort. Europa Next, we bring things back a little closer to home, specifically to one of the moons of Jupiter. Jupiter has about 67 known moons, many of which have become a point of interest to scientists that are in search of extraterrestrial life. Europa is smaller than the Earth's moon, but still larger than Pluto. Sorry, Pluto. Unfortunately, you're still not a planet. So what exactly makes Europa so interesting? Well, it's believed that Europa's atmosphere mainly consists of oxygen, and along with that, that its surface is made of ice. Scientists believe that under this ice are massive subterranean oceans capable of supporting life. Looking at the life that already exists in the Earth's oceans, it's not really too hard to believe that a planet completely made of subterranean oceans may just contain similar forms of life. 
What is unnerving, though, about these oceans is that science is still not sure how life would develop under such unique conditions. While it may be calming to think that there would just be fish under the surface, it's likely that evolution would create something slightly more monstrous. The Multiverse Europeans once believed that they were the only country in existence, and then they would go on to discover the new world. There was also once a time where humans believed that the Earth was the only planet in existence. And then soon we learned that we're just one out of many planets in the solar system. Then we thought that our sun was the only one in the universe. And we then learned that ours is just one of billions within the galaxy. In further unwise theories, we believe that our galaxy was the only one in existence, only to find out that we're just one of billions. So if logic dictates anything about our history, it's that we should not assume that we're the only universe in existence. If you've watched any amount of science fiction, you've probably heard a reference to the multiverse. The multiverse theory is a concept that suggests there are infinite universes that exist outside of our own. One theory even suggests that our universe exists in the same spaces as all the others, but we vibrate at different frequencies, and that makes us invisible to each other. Other theories go on to suggest that universes are like planets floating through empty space, and we don't have the capacity or technology to observe each other. And even another theory says that within these infinite universes, there are infinite versions of us, each differing slightly based on what decisions we made. For example, there's a universe where you might be a billionaire, and in another, there's a version of you that only differs by what you ate for breakfast that morning. These theories have yet to be proven by science, but there are unexplained occurrences around the universe, such as the CMB cold spot, and those lead scientists to believe that we are just one of many universes. So, no matter what you believe, make sure that you subscribe to our channel in each universe in which you exist. This has been a look at just a few of the most interesting and terrifying facts about the universe, but let us know what we missed in the comments below. Now, remember the dinosaurs? Remember what took them all out? According to some scientists, it was a big hunk of space rock. You know, like those little pieces of junk.